Hey guys, welcome to part 4 of this disaster. Sorry for the abrupt ending, I wanted to just pause, but I went on stop, so I, of course, the video stopped. So here we go, we continue with part 4. We are at the uh, scene where Bane just went, just told his great speech about, well, not his speech, just reading Gordon's speech about the, what really happened with Harvey Dent at the end of The Dark Knight. And I've already said why I found it's fucking stupid and it makes no point and it doesn't serve any purpose. But Blake seems to uh, not think the same way that I do. So let's see what he has to say about that. So I am at uh, 1 hour 38 minutes and 45 seconds. And uh, I assume we are in Blake's apartment. Um... And uh, so <laughs> let's let's see what dumbness uh, he says. Okay, so can we good? Okay, uh, yeah. So of course Blake is fucking stupid, and he, of course, he doesn't go by any of my theories that Gordon could have just said, yeah, he, uh, I didn't write that. Bane must have written it. Like, I don't know. Uh, he could have anyway. Blake could have said like yeah anything could have write could have, anyone could have wrote that uh, and if not even if okay let's go I believe him I believe him so um, yeah and Gordon says it was a necessary evil and uh, sometimes uh, in this city particularly uh, things go to shit and when the time comes for you I hope you have a friend like I did. To, to, to get his hands in the filth and keep every every other person clean. And he says, your your hands you look pretty filthy to me, uh, Commissioner. It's like, fuck you, man. Are you think to fucking Commissioner Gordon? The guy, who t the guy who apprehended the Joker, the guy who apprehended with Batman, the guy who apprehended... It's like, Gordon has, I've saved Gotham twice. With the Batman. And you're saying this shit to him. You should have the utmost respect. And he knows all. Oh, he was an officer for I don't know how long. And now the commissioner made him a detective. And he says. And he, he blames Gordon for this. It's like. It just proves Gordon point. It's like yeah. That's why I didn't do the speech. That's why I kept it in my coat. And didn't say anything. Because. I know stupid people like you would react. You okay, would take back from the corrupt and the rich. Okay, Bane says this, so continuing his unending speech. Uh, yeah, okay, Bane, uh, you want to take it for the corrupt and the rich, but you are going to blow a hole in Blackgate to liberate every prisoner. So you're liberating killers, rapists, money launderers, mob, thieves, whatever. And... Uh, do you know how many corrupt people are in Blackgate? Just a thought. So yeah. Again, if you want to give Gotham back to the people, do it. But why fill it with criminals? Doesn't make any sense.
that I like. He says, yeah, the city is in your hands. Nobody will interfere. And from a moment, we see a, a side view of the city and the sea. And, and, and Zimmer's core like goes up a notch in a crescendo and ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. and we feel it and after that we see an Im a great great image we see a line of hotels with valets and people in rich suit golden suits uh, of course it must be luxurious hotels or restaurants or uh, they look like hotels so I like the fact that the mob that is coming to take it out are people because we just saw criminals being liberated and armed with AK-47s. It's like, okay, that seems fucking dumb and a uh, uh, counter uh, it, it, it's like it, 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 it doesn't match what you just said. It's if you want to give it to the people, give it to the people. But if you want to get rid of the corrupt and the rich and the, and the all of that, don't liberate Blackgate. If you liberate Blackgate, you just you'll just do more corrupt and, and don't. <laughs> it's like how many people from the mob do? Don't you think they're rich too? Like if you want to give it back to the people, give it back to the people, and the people that are pissed off with with the rich society like i've said the rich deprivation and that want to take thing take things in their own hands and they know that they, that they they can because no law enforcement exists anymore nothing nobody will stop them that's a good view that's a good scene that's a good shot right there i'm at uh, one hour 40 minutes and 16 seconds but that must have been this the, the beginning of the second act that that should have been the 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 the, the element that elevated the film and that made it again again like a no man's land and and the, the speech is the end of the speech is good the music rises literally and the and the people the people I have no problem giving Gotham back to the people. That's a great idea. That's a racial goal thing to do. But giving them to the ma uh, to the to the to the prisoners and arming them with guns, uh, you're just calling for trouble, man. This will not work. Okay, so we just had the, the cutting shots of it again, his unending speech, and that he says Rip got him from his decadent ways, and we see rich people being dragged out with their fur coats and uh, the, 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 the rich uh, clothing and luggage falling down the stairs and people in chaos and everything again. If that's your plan, that's good. But he says this great city, this great city will endure. And you cut to the neutron bomb. It's like, um, well, if it's such a great city, and if you want to give it back to the people and do all this good, and you had good um, uh, anti-rich, anti-decadent, anti-corrupt, uh, 
really give it back to the people as a new era of civilization, like you said earlier. Don't kill the, the nuclear scientist and keep him with the bomb. Because this something go astray, or I don't know, Batman comes back because he's fucking Batman. I mean, not in this movie, but uh, whatever. Or you have no um, safeguard. You're just like you, it, it is the problem with Bane. This movie, he, he has a good foundation, but he's just throwing things and throwing things and throwing things in the air every time and everywhere and. It's just, man, you're. It's like the Joker again. It's just like chaos and chaos and chaos and chaos. And it's like, man, if you play with fire too many times, you're gonna get burned. So, again, at, at fucking. Now he addresses back. Bruce Wayne and Batman really have no role. I mean, Batman was... Bruce Wayne and Batman's complete runtime, I would be surprised to, to see it, but it's not, it's not... Again, it's not a Batman movie, it's a Bane movie. Just like The Dark Knight was a Joker movie. And he said, yeah, you must first fix your back. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. And he said, oh, yeah, he was a prison doctor. Okay, so are you a doctor too? And what the hell are you doing? Do you know what you're doing? Uh, I don't want to get fucking paralyzed. And uh, I mean, Jesus. But he's telling the story of Bane. Again, Bane, Bane, Bane. Again, they're they're recounting the the origin of Talia Al Ghul, not Bane, because oh yeah, Bane was always the. And excuse me, but if Bane was already, I, I I never thought about that, this before, but if Bane was already an adult, because there's time was plague, he has a mask, a, 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 a mask, but he has the physique of an adult. Or I will say young adult, but because uh, the, uh, Talia here has what, like seven years old, six, seven years old, and Bane's already a man. So if now Talia uh, is like 35, Bane must be in his f late 40s, like something like that. It's like, doesn't make. Okay, it's. it's, it's, it's why reinvent such a great it's like it's like changing batman's origin not, not origins but batman 
<laughs> I want to say it's like changing Bat Batman's Batman in origin. Say, so, yeah, you already did that. You fucked it up. Uh, it, it's 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 just like taking. It's like changing who is Batman. Who Batman is really? Batman fans, we understand ourselves here. It's like it's like changing. It's like saying, oh, but Batman is a. I don't know when he shoots guns. And he uses guns and he's like uh, Red Hood. People would say, no, that's not Batman. Batman do doesn't kill and doesn't use uh, bullets and doesn't use guns. And it's like, and this is the same thing. Why? It's like, it's, it's no, I got better, better, easier example. It's like saying uh, Br Bruce Wayne's parents never died. And they're in the movie when he's an adult. You'd say, but... That's what makes Batman Batman. It's the fact that Batman became Batman because his parents died. If you see, so it's the same thing here for Bane. They're reducing Bane. They're giving the background of Bane to, Ta to Talia. It's like saying Rachel Ghoul abandoned his wife in the pit with, with while being pregnant with Talia. Never in a million years would he fucking do that. The story was for pain. And he said, oh yeah, but the child had a protector. A protector who grew to, to love her. And again, in the, in the comics, Bane loves Talia. But they're the same age. Here, they're like 20 years apart. That makes absolutely no sense. And again, the same way they reduced Batman in, the, in this trilogy, the same way they reduced Bane here. Who was he? Oh yeah, he was a protector. He was in the prison, he was his, her protector. That's it? Yeah, that's it. But what, what, what for all the... the the, 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 the curse of uh, having to serve his father's lifetime in, in a hell prison and his training. And, and uh, I mean, don't you think that someone with the skill and strength of pain could not be able to, to climb this fucking wall? Of course he could. Of course he could. Jesus fucking Christ. The real Bane, not this Bane. The real Bane that has, tra that has found the in the deepest, darkest of worlds, found the strength and tenacity and intellect and strategy. Again, a little bit like Batman, because he is Batman's biggest physical foe. Well, maybe except that that's true, but the, the rivality between B Batman and Bane is more iconic because Bane is the only one who ever defeated Batman. So that's what Bane is special. So we want to see Bane against Batman because we want to see this real version of Bane. But here, by just demeaning him and reducing him to a lesser state, it just fucks up again the lore. First, first, it, the main thing it fucks up is, is the movie because the real, if here it's, it took the same, it would have taken the same time, the same budget. You already have a prison. You already have Bane. You already have everything. You just need to see the real origins of pain, not these lies, not these poor, pretentious, uh, dumb, and really uh, um, uninteresting because the real pain is very interesting. His psyche, his abilities, its venom, uh, everything is very, uh, it, it's a very interesting villain, like all Batman villains. But to make, to reduce him like that to just a random guy, again, a random brawler who has a mask because he got injured or he got addicted, like, like the doctor said, he addicted to morphine, so the mask must be inducing like morphine constantly or I don't know what sh can shit, who knows. But, you know, that's what I'm talking about when I say, again, convenience. And Talia isn't even in the movie. 
It's not Talia, it's Miranda Tate. The great Talia al Ghul, the iconic Talia al Ghul. Christopher Nolan has took all of them, ripped them of their, of their, of their mythos, ripped them of their, the richness of their characters, and just throw it in the fucking trash. For what? $300 million worthless piece of shit. And here we go. I wish I was a chiropractor or a doctor or any kind of th physical therapist to know the depth of the idiocy of what is going to go about. There's a vertebr vertebrae protruding for your back. It has to be replaced. Smack! The spine. The human spine. One of the most, uh, one of the most complicated, uh, one of uh, the most complicated thing in the human body. The most important thing. The most. It's like it's not saying, "Oh yeah, you have a broken arm. Well, you know, uh, we'll replace the bone and." We don't really know what to do, but we'll set the bone and uh, give you a wrap. And uh, with time, it might heal, you know, whatever. But no, just, oh, vertebrae. Ah, oh, vertebrae are simple. Or it's easy work. Vertebrae, who needs a doctor? Bam, you're good to go. Bye-bye. I hate this. We shall go uh, Liam Neeson returning. There are many forms of immortality. And they have the balls to cut back to Batman Begins. Right now you cut back to Batman Begins. A real greater movie. And Batman is his hallucinations learns the truth batman is high on drugs like given real drugs at least jesus christ <clears throat> main is your child oh my god stupid and, that, and it, again they contradicted themselves again Bane was your child, your hair. And we all know how important a hair is to Rachel Ghoul. Rachel Ghoul wanted Batman, like in the Arkham games. It was perfectly set up. He was Talia's lover, and he was the best hair. He was, he, Rachel Ghoul called him detective. Batman was the only person out of his organization that he respected, that he wanted to be his heir. So now you're saying Bane is his heir. So if Bane is such in his in your good graces, why did you excommunicate him? Makes no sense.
and again all this thing here it could work i mean for the real bit i mean this should have been one of the greatest when we talk about montage like training montages people think people seem to think they're cliche and out of date and like only good in the rocky films but no if someone deserves a good training montage it's fucking batman and you're gonna say i like the fact that he says that the, the guy is trying to help him stand up and he says no no i got to do it myself yeah okay so that's batman but to reduce batman to push-ups but because what have we seen batman do as training in the whole trilogy in eight hours of movies push-ups setups pull-ups or oh, in the beginning of this movie with his knee brace he kicks a wall that's it it's like for all of Zack Snyder dumb of the dumb of the dumb of the last of the dumb the king of the dumb at least he gave Ben Affleck a fucking CrossFit montage and Batman was doing pull-ups with fucking 50 kilo weights hung at his, at his ankles it was fucking badass it wasn't as good as it could have been it wasn't like as seeing how Batman really trains because that's the thing that's never been explored in any movies how does Batman train does this the, because people always seems to think that Batman trains uh, like 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 CrossFit style or uh, you know punching bag or uh, in chest or in whatever. I always think that Batman must train at least a good spends a good portion of his training in his suit because if you only train without your suit. When you put your suit on, your mobility will be a little bit less great. You have much more weight on yourself and you don't move the same and you don't see the same and you have your gadgets and everything. So you must practice them too. So I always thought that Batman would spend a lot of time training in his suit. But we, I've never seen it in comics. I've never seen it in, but in comics at least he has good training montages. But a good, satisfying training montages for Batman, uh, never seen it. I hope Matt Reeves does it. Um, we shall see. So yeah. And Batman looks so weak, so. I mean, of course, he's, he's very thin now because he's in a fucked up prison, but no, not a prison. It's not a prison. It's just a hole. It's a hole. So Batman in his hole, uh, but just, and when he sees, when he does push-ups, we see he does them uh, without a shirt and we see his spine and his spine is perfect. There are no scars, no bruise. No bandages, nothing. It's like magically the skin reappeared. It's like, okay, so that must have taken at least months and months and months. But we know the bombs is less than five months away and they're starting to snow. So again, we don't know the time frame, but it's another thing that doesn't work at all. Now we see the snow, so, but they don't say how much time. So, and again, everything stops. I mean, this movie, this fucking movie, it's, it goes fast and it stops and it hit the brakes. It's like, it's like a, a, a driver. Uh, it's like a beginner start learning to drive for the first time. It, 
goes, it stops, it goes, it stops, it stops, stops, stop, goes, goes, goes. It's like it's all over the place, narratively, structurally, editing-wise, character-wise. It's like it's like oh yeah, so Bruce Wayne is trying to stand again on his feet and hard cut to Catwoman. It's like eh, okay, 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 yeah, I guess Catwoman. So. And I, it's such a waste too because I like the snow in Gotham and Batman Returns again, my favorite Batman movie, uses snow very well and uh, it really adds to the aesthetic. But here, because we're in real reality, real, 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 it looks fucking ugly. This is so not a Batman movie. Again, right there. Okay, so we 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 went from Batman barely be able to stand to Catwoman to Blake doing nothing, of course, and now Batman is doing push-ups hard. With again, I watch. I'm watching his back precisely. No marks, nothing. So we saw the snow. So. Not that much I've said, oh yeah, well, well the audience was out of snow, so they'll know a passage of time has come, so now Batman can do push-ups and uh, it's believable. It's not. Again, just do push-ups. Why build yourself? Cause I'm the fucking Batman, you numb nuts. And even after his training, he still looks skinny. And with his beard, he just... Christian Bell in his beard doesn't look like Bruce Wayne at all. I mean, they should, they should have at least as, as tainted his, his uh, hair black. Because like they did with Robert Pattinson. I mean, it's simple. It's a blockbuster movie. Paint his hair. He looks like a bum. And then go over there. He tries to climb. And again, where he goes on the there's there's like two cement tables. It's like and he's like at fifteen feet from the top. It's like, really? You can't make that jump? Really, really? And when he falls back, just a snap would break his back again. It's stupid. And he jumps without taking, without running, without taking a, 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 a departure, without, without getting a runoff he just holds it he just immobilizes himself and jumps it's like of course it's not gonna work run and jump run and jump do some parkour do some crazy shit you're batman and he falls this the, the the rope would have split his neck it killed the previous guy why doesn't kill yourself
forged from suffering. What do you think Batman is, if not forged from suffering? Again, the, the themes are all over the place. Batman is com the Batman persona, the Batman, the, the icon of Batman is completely lost in shambles. They talk about shambles in these movies. Batman is in shambles all the fucking time. I mean, it should be so much more motivating and uplifting. And even when he succeeds, it's just, man, whatever, man. It's just a hole. You climbed up a hole, Batman. Bravo, bravo. Not the man from privilege. Do you know what I've been through, old fucker? I'm fucking Bruce fucking Wayne. Do you know? I'm not. He's talking to him like he's some rich guy that has lived in privilege his whole life. Uh, it's hard to find a man that has suffered more than Bruce Wayne, mentally and physically. So shut the fuck up. My god, made this movie end. Captain John Special Forces. Oh, now Special Forces come. It's so dumb. They let the emergency relief truck pass. The bridge that shall not get passed. And they don't even check inside. If they check inside, they would have seen fucking bolt up, bolt up guys. And they have got just face recognition. And yeah, you're special forces, you're military. You try to take on the bridge. Okay, intervenience from the outside. Boom, got them as ashes because of you. Good job. He asked the special forces guy, Captain, ask Gordon, how many are you? And he says, I'd rather not say exactly. He's your only chance. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not even talking about Batman or Bane anymore. I'm talking about random shit. It's like, it, it's a special forces captain. He has to know how much of you are there. What are your capacities? Your firepower? Jesus Christ. I've never been in the military or, or law enforcement. Why do I... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's how they do. Yeah, how many are we? Ah, whatever. We don't give a fuck. Just go blind and... Okay, they haven't seen daylight in three months, and of course, I just watched the guy, he's clean shaved. <laughs> Shaving cream for the police. <laughs> I agree with the captain of the special forces because the tracking the, the again makes no fucking sense. They they have the, their big ass trucks who are who, who are not locked. By the way, it's like one of them has the bomb, and there are no locks. Again, like a random gutamite has the trigger. So again, 
I just wish that this 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 seventy three years old grandmother had the gr <laughs> the trigger and went. Eh. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm not saying everything's here again. Um, I'm so this movie is killing my brain, killing my ideas, killing my soul. It's just babble babble with the, the special forces, and again, it's all for loss because we know special forces are going to get gunned down the first encounter they have with the mercenaries. And how did they get gunned down? Went to cover, goes out of the cover, get killed. Yeah. So that mattered when she when he said he asked, How many are you? I'd rather not tell. Yeah, a dude. I have to get my shit straight. Like I don't have a bulletproof vest, I don't have a like hey, good weapons, good Tactics. I mean, what what the fuck's happening here? You, you you have the chance of sending special forces to Gotham in this crisis, and you don't have no plan or just oh, we just go as we go. What the why the fuck? A mistake. I just again a moment Amazon so I have to I have to read this trivia because I don't know. Um, Christopher Nolan wanted Marion Cotillard so much for the role of Miranda Tate that he modified the filming schedule to accommodate her pregnancy. <laughs> oh, I, knew, I knew it would be great shit. When Nolan invited Cotillard for this movie in 2010 she told him that she was pregnant and didn't know if she would be able to do it, but Nolan decided to keep her in the movie. Cotillard started filming just one month after giving birth to her son, and Nolan also made room on set for her family. In the last months of filming, Cotillard also shot another movie at the same time. Blah blah blah. She was flying back and forth between the US and France to shoot both. <laughs> During an interview for Vogue, Nolan marveled at Cotillard's ability to do her job as soon after giving birth, calling it amazing to see and describing her as superwoman. Yeah, yeah, superwoman, sure. Pausing it again. Be right back, guys. Okay, sorry, guys. Yeah, uh, let's continue. I had to get my hot tea because Marion Cotillard was a super woman filming almost no scenes, doing a shitty death. And uh, I love Marion Cotillard. Of course, she's a great actress. But saying that she's a super woman for doing both movies at the same time, it's called being rich. Flying behind you between US and France all the time is called being rich. Not being good at her job or whatever. It's just being rich. So shut up, Nolan. You're for this shitty film, of course. I'm sure she enjoys the paycheck. Sure of it. Ah. 
good chamomile tea, hey eh, guys. Hmm. Oh, I get it. This again, they build the special forces for ten minutes just to kill them. It will go off in 23 days. <clears throat> so yeah, um, so, so now, good, okay, special forces, they're, they're they're efficient there there what do we need to do how to do it information we do it okay go that's that's good and and that's why they say to blake yeah fuck off dude go back we we, we know how to work this and i hate again i hate the extras the captain of the special forces looks all right i mean he looks in shape but the two others they look like nobodies they look like hobos i mean I don't know who makes, who uh, does the casting in Christopher Nolan's movies, but they're shit. Uh, especially for the extras and the, the tertiary roles and the everything. It's, it's a fucking joke. And they said, okay, they will go off in 23 days. Okay, so again, when Dr. Pavel know who can disarm it? Nobody. The only me. Okay, we may not be able to disarm it, but we can. They can disarm it. They said it. That Christian Bell said it at the beginning, and Lucius Fox, precious Lucius, just said it again. I can reconnect it to the reactor that will stabilize it, that will remove all threat. And Christian Bell said, Bruce, Bruce said at the beginning. I built, we built it here so it could be flooded in an emergency. So in an emergency, they can just flood it and for lack of a better word, disarm it. If it's flooded, it, it's not useful anymore for whatever reason. Again, special three special forces agents are killed while getting out of their cover. No synchronicity, no efficiency, no tactics, just cover. There are three shooters, three shooters. He gets out in advance. There are three shooters. What the fuck do you think is gonna happen to you? And why don't you have a bulletproof vest? Jesus Christ. I like how Bing kills him. I like it. Just knee on the carotid. Cracking. Again, he's, Bruce breaks the TV. The only source of information on what's going on in Gotham, and he breaks the TV.
I'm not afraid, I'm angry. It's the only, in this three hour movie, is the only Batman line that has been said. And he doesn't look like Batman at all. He doesn't have the shape, he doesn't have the face, he doesn't have the hair, nothing. But he's doing setups, so that makes it Batman, I guess. Again, a cut to Batman Begins. Jesus Christ, they want to torture me that much. You could have just heard this, the voice of his father in his head. Why a cut? Yeah, my back is broken again. And again, it's like I want, don't like this Batman. He's always at a loss for words. He's always asking questions. He's always desperate. He's always looking, again, in, in, in the dark night. He's always looking for an excuse, a moment. Harvey Dent, take my place. Rachel, be with Rachel. Have a normal life, normal life. Escaping Batman. He, 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 he constantly escapes his fate, he, he's, he constantly, he has no, he has no brain matter, he's like, he's like, again, maybe that's what Nolan wanted, it's like a normal, normal guy, but rich, it's like a normal rich guy, but it contradicts everything we saw in Batman Begins, when they talk here about privilege, born into privilege, it's like, it's like Batman, Bruce should have said, Hey, dude, I know I've been born into privilege, but do you know how, I mean, I said, I've said it earlier, but do you know how I traveled the world, tra taught, uh, taught myself the, the crime, the underworld of crime, learned their methods, learned to fight, learned to uh, be the shadows, learned to uh, learn to fucking fly with my suit built uh, again should have built his gadgets do you know what arsenal of a man i am do you know how resourceful i am and he's he's always asking questions and he always has this, this looks in his eyes that he is desperate he always was desperate he is always look clueless that's it I've just resolved, I've just resumed Bat Nolan's Batman. Clueless. Absolutely clueless. Make the climb without the rope. And then, that's another thing. I said I like the the soundtrack for this movie, and of course the the, the Shibasara, the the team, the Rise team is, is great, but I don't like it because and I should have liked him too. Yeah, thank you, Bruce. You've been there like for months and doesn't ask what it means. Bruce Wayne should already know what it means because he should have known the tongue because he's Batman and he speaks many languages. And is it just me or I would have liked just like, he knows, okay, good, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to succeed or be dead because I'm doing it without a rope. I just shake the doctor's hand, shake it, give him a big hug. 
I mean, Jesus Christ, this guy saved you. Stupidly, but at least he saved you. Moment of warmth, camaraderie, something like Bruce, his honor, as a samurai. Everything is lost. It's so much. Oh, such a pity. And the music is telling you it's gonna succeed. And there there's bats. So you think it's gonna fail with all this build up? Makes the jump. Wow. I felt nothing. And again, for all the time we lost in Gotham, again, we're still wasting time. Spending time with useless characters. Why can't we just see Batman, his methods, his skill, his contacts, to see how he goes back? <laughs> Cameo. Cameo by Killian Murphy, who is, again, always a joy, but so misused. All they could have done with him. And again, I have never understood this thing, death or exile, and they give you on the eyes, which of course is so dumb. Like, why? <laughs> Falls in the ice. Tomorrow, oh my god. Great sense of timing, Bruce. Great sense of timing. 18 hours. Imagine Batman coming back a week before not 18 hours before that's just again power of coincidence convenience fake it's fake um it's people say oh my god 18 uh, 18 hours it's a oh my god I don't have much time it's a but stress but it's all fake it's all manipulation it's it's just gives you it's easy to make you uh on the edge of your seat when you have the control to say, oh yeah, 18 hours, whatever. Imagine the power to see Batman come back a week before and said, okay, you guys go there, you guys go there. What are your informations? Analyzing everything, putting on the strategy, working with the cops, working with the SWAT teams, working with people that can help and put 
of course, using his, his skills. Again, real Batman, that's what they don't, what that's, no, Nolan doesn't understand about Batman. It's, and he says he needs a suit to get back into the game. No, Bruce. Bruce Wayne alone, nude, is extremely powerful. Extremely, from all angles. I don't care if you call it physical, mental, I don't care. It's extremely powerful. The suit helps. The suit is fear. The suit. But they all treat it like it's a... It's a cost Halloween costume. That's it. I don't see anybody being frightened by Batman in this movie. And again, I won't finish it tonight, so. Nothing to say here. <laughs> Miranda Tate just appears. I heard that looking for you're looking for men. How about me instead? And yeah, again, she's Talia fucking all ghoul. So Bane, we know, is going to be f stupidly defeated before the end. How badass would have been if you're not a going to have a love story or any kind of story of any kind of arc between Batman and Talia. At least make it, make it a great fight. At least, at minimum, it is the least you can do. But keep, Nolan, you're such buried into your convenience that you, <laughs> I think I'd like George Schumacher better. With with Val Kilmer, Val Kilmer was a far better Batman than Christian Bale, and learned the psyche a lot better. And the Bruce Wayne and Batman sides a lot better. You can go that we'll go with that to the fucking bank. Batman is back and he's found Catwoman. <sighs> Again, if it was the real Batman, I wouldn't ask questions. But this is not the real Batman, so I have questions that will never be answered. So let's just go.
the clean slate. Yeah. Why would I trust you? Uh, have you heard about the fucking nuclear bomb? Like all that's going on in the city? Uh, we've always helped each other until you... Yeah, why is it going to her? It's like... She, tre she committed treason against you and you're going to her, why? Because she's good looking? She doesn't need anything. If she want, if you want to make love to her, and live with her, and have little catwoman babies with her, she doesn't need no clean slate. If she has you, Bruce, you can go in friends or whatever, and nobody will ever give a shit. I need precious Lucius. How do you know that? I need Fox again. I need Fox. I need Fox. I need Lucius. Precious Lucius. Batman can never do anything on himself by himself. It's fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing real good here. Not even locked. Hey, every cop in town, stop shaving. Stop shaving for a second. I don't forget your sweet tight pussy. Uh, I w didn't remember this fight scene between Catwoman and the mercenaries. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can see something to analyze it. Knock. No. Nope. Don't see shit. <laughs>
what I'd like to see him go back in his old bulky suit from Batman Begins. It should have been so badass. But no, the twinky winky little Dark Knight turned my head bullshit. God end. I can't take this anymore. Please end. Oh, I don't need the autopilot. And what a stupid return. I mean, he's gonna use his go to sleep uh, little mini batarangs that he shoots with a with a straw. I don't remember the weapon's name, but you know what I mean. Oh yeah, good job, man. This is the dumbest thing, the dumbest thing. If you had that all along, why didn't you use it before? It knocks guys out in two seconds. You just take out four guys in three seconds. Well, I didn't use it before. Oh, yeah, I remember I have gadgets. Let it up. Yeah, I had time to put a gasoline bridge again. Yeah. Makes no sense. War trailer line. Okay, so we have the first ba Jesus Christ. Batman has an action scene. What? In a three hour movie? What? Okay, they're all have they all have guns. So okay, let's see how he does. Lens in the middle from up on. Okay, Blake. Again, I like a cop with good hand to hand skills. So, what does Blake do? Okay, so double punch to the Karasuke. Okay, so already have two down. So he landed. Kick punch for the two. Uh, knock. Knocked out, kick punch, block the gun, break the elbow, Aikido, straight kick, and the last kick is four feet. On the side of the guy's faces, but it knocks him out apparently. Lazy fight.
Oh, remember your bombs, Batman? You know the bombs you could have used to escape Bane? Oh, you use them now. And to five them throw the tree dip it. You're stupid. Go away. And indeed, they're all shaved. Just I'm just I'm just absorbing the stupid guy. Sorry if I don't say anything. Okay, so um, and they're gonna have to go do the final fight in City Hall. Uh, Batman said you've given me an army. I don't see how. I don't see why. But apparently you have it. So he gives his bat butt to Selina, a Catwoman, whatever. Uh, I I didn't remember how uh, Catwoman was so underdeveloped in this movie because when we when I used I when I ranked my Catwoman after the, the bat Matrix the Batman uh, I, I said oh, I remember it and Cat and Hathaway not being so horrible but now I see it and it's like she, my god she's also a nothing burger and um, yeah, Batman says we have 45 minutes for for saving the city. She says, no, I have 45 minutes to get clean, clear of the blast radius. Um, lady, uh, I don't know if you know this, but uh, this Megaton nuclear bomb, uh, you don't, even if you went into a Lamborghini full speed, you won't get clear the blast radius in 45 minutes. Sorry. So I don't know what you're talking about. Again, you're just stupid or not paying attention to details like everyone else in this fucking movie. So um, she says, come with me, fuck me, make babies, you know, don't be Batman anymore again because Batman is always hunting for pussy instead of criminals. in plain daylight. You've given me an army. These cops have been in the sewers for like months. Oh yeah, and stupid Matthew Modine comes in with his ceremonial uniform. They all have guns and tanks. You will be dead before touching them. They have automatic rifles. You have pistols. Get the fuck out. Now 
And again, just extras for the sake of extras. And Batman said they had 45 minutes. It was night and now it's day, so... Yeah, the front five minutes are already done, sorry. 30 minutes, please end. Please end. the policemen are running with their batons, their tactical batons against tanks and, and AK-47s. Yeah, at least we get action. Jesus Christ. About fucking time, this boring ass shit movie. And again, I like how Bane fights. He's just raging through people. Again, Bane fights like Batman should fight. He's like brutal, straight to the point. And Batman is like all... Mushi washi. He does a koshi, which is all right. I mean, he does. Uh, Bane is a lot of headbutts and uh, knees and. Uh, Batman lands one punch, Bane four. Good job, Batman. Yeah, and guys, it's just... Blake is sending the children into the buses and he said, Oh yeah, you five, uh, go around this block and knock on doors and say the bomb's gonna go off. Um, are you stupid or something? Like... Are you condemning this, these boys to hell? Like, what does it mean? You're in a metropolis. Do you know what time it... Like, all these apartments could be empty, all this... I mean, what what do you think you're accomplishing here? It's so dumb. It's all over bloat. It's, this movie has so much bloating, my God. It's, ugh. What two blocks? What about the rest of the city? What is it gonna change? You don't, you don't have enough place in these buses anyway. What are you trying to do? You have all these orphans. Jesus Christ! Take the orphans and run. 
Jesus Christ, do it by yourself if you're so stupid. God damn. Batman getting punched, Batman getting punched, Batman getting kicked. Telegraphic punch, main counters. And the worst, worst, worst part of this fight. Again, this fight is in daylight, not Batman. Bane is smaller than Batman. No, not real Batman lore. And what is worse than anything in this movie is that Batman overpowers Bane with brute force. He do the same thing, like the, he catches his wrist and before he was too strong, so he couldn't do anything as Bane should against Batman because Batman cannot defeat Bane with brute force. He has to find other ways. Like, if you want to break his mask, like you break the Venom or whatever it is, do it. But don't show us a thing that goes against all the Batman mythos. Why do you have to constantly shit on the mythos? Stop it. Stop it. Just do a cool fight. It's not complicated. I could do it. We can't see shit, the camera is too close. Minor hand trapping, boxing, KC, uppercut, front kick. Cover the doors. When and oh my god, the voice, the famous meme. There we go. Turn down my shit is on. Why is that? Where's the trail? Where is that? Where is that? I'm not Welsh at all. Where is that? Oh my god, the mask up close look so bad it is stupefying how bad it is and the voice and the poor action and the poor battle scenes dear god I have to take a small break, I'll be right back, you won't even know it. Okay, so let's finish this fuckfest, Jesus Christ. Uh, I, I Honestly, I, I didn't think I would survive. It's so much shit, then you have my permission to die, you think you're the only one who will find the train, this train to escape. Where is the trigger? Okay, so she plants a knife between his ribs. So, okay, you're gonna tell me that, hey, Batman, 
You know your big suit that you didn't like? It should have stopped the knife. Huh? Think about that. Again, she's got the trigger right there. And you're gonna tell me that Batman, because he has a knife in his ribs, he won't be able to fucking knock her ass out and take the trigger? It's Batman. It is Batman. Stop treating him like a run-of-the-mill fucking bitch. He's stronger than that. His will is stronger than that. His skill is stronger than that. He has a hand on her shoulder. He can just strangle her and take the trigger. Fuck, do something. She's looking away. Do something. His only crime was that he loved me. I got, you know what, I, I can't do it anymore. I just... I am at 2 hours 19 minutes. Uh, and just, I want just this to end. I... Again, it's just... Okay, so Gordon finds the bomb. What? You're not finishing his work. If you bomb the city to ashes, that's not what you wanted at all. If you were trained by the League of Shadows, why? Again, why no fighting? Why no nothing? Why no playing this Miranda Tate, all the movie? Why fuck, why fuck Bruce? It's like... It doesn't... It doesn't achieve anything. It's like it was not to manipulate him. Again, yeah, you might have manipulated him for five seconds for sticking a knife in his armor. Again, if, if, if a, a, a frail woman... Again, not the real Tayago. The real Tayago could kill you, kill you in two seconds. If a, if a fucking short knife goes that easily into your ribs, don't wear armor. I mean, regular Kevlar will stop a knife like this. She didn't like, ah, full brute force, impaling, impaling. She just went, mm. It's like, if your armor doesn't stop that, why wear it? God damn, you're stupid. And again, 
Dark Knight style guys again. They're 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 they a guy is putting a rope around Bruce around Bruce Batman's Batman's neck. And I don't know why he doesn't do anything. It's like, yeah, okay, you have a knife in your against your rib cage, but you're gonna swim like six miles later. So how do you do it? If you're not able to fucking like you're gonna get again, they can't strangle you in your armor. What the fuck is going on? I'm t I'm tired, I'm sick, yeah, the knife. Uh, uh, Batman's always fucking crying. Oh, yeah, just the music. Again, if you have made why Miranda Tate character at all as a Wayne, she 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 was creating a diversion as working as a Wayne Enterprise or Enterprises uh, chair member or, or what ambassador or whatever. If you would have dumped all this shit in the trash and instead putting her and Bane working together. And without a secret identity, like, I'm fucking Talia al Ghul. I'm working with fucking Bane, who is my protector, my friend, and what my love in the comics, uh, they're in love. So whatever. And we're going to go tear this place down. Yeah, you could have had action scenes, depth. Uh, I mean, you could have had a, a really more emotion coming from Bane instead of just Napoleon shit. Uh, all these details and emotions and again that you, you gotta and again bailed shot dead by Catwoman, by the Bat Pod, a Batman vehicle just shot dead Bane. It was the dumbest, quickest, worthless death we'll ever seen for a few seconds because Talia's death is coming and is the worst of all. Catwoman comes back, yeah, 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 truck, 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 tank, tank, tank. She goes in the truck. They're blowing the bridge up for no reason. So Batman was who was two seconds ago with crying in pain is now fine and he's blowing tanks about with his bat wing. Chase scene that I don't care because I don't just don't care. 
Missiles flying in buildings, Batman not having a sense of pain at all, like he should. Trailer shot with the Batwing. He knows the bombs there. Talia's driving the truck. Truck falls from three stairs and Gordon's okay. Gordon was in the trunk with the bomb and he's okay. But Talia's fucking broken. She has the worst death ever. Two minutes, she has time to kiss her. And again, the remember line from Batman begins. Do the music of Batman begins? Bruce Wayne just putting in just putting a coat on Bruce Wayne's young Bruce Wayne's shoulders had more depth and emotion. Again, I'm using the same fucking words, but I don't know what else to say. It's good. It's good. The, your nuclear bomb plot is a waste of all this movie could have been with all the richness of his characters without the death this i'm saying the death again with all the the, the 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 great story the great drama the great action you could have done and you just took these characters and you have butchered them Butcher them with a fucking cleaver, and it's a fucking waste, and it's a fucking damn shame. You should be ashamed, Lord. You should be fucking ashamed. And everyone who worked on the script of this movie, and on the story, and on the characters, and even the acting, they all should be ashamed. Bruce Wayne, yeah, big surprise, okay. He's taking the bomb, we don't care. He's taking the bomb over the sea. The bomb goes off. Okay. Do you have any idea? I don't want to go into it, but any idea how the water should have submerged the city from the impact? How could the nuclear outfall the nuclear fallout would do for damages? All the all people in the city would be fucking rotting in radioactive waves. So they're just stupid. So this everything is good. Batman has swum. Uh, they do. They give Bad Bruce Wayne a small. Again, you give Batman a grave in his own backyard. And it's just a square with Mark Bruce Wayne. That's it. Remember in Mask of the Phantasm when the Wayne grave was like fucking huge and fucking, you know, just a big. Like, yeah, you see, when you walk in cemeteries and you see huge marble fucking graves, you see, oh, yeah, my rich guys, rich people. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what you should have here. Oh, and now Alfred cries. I was, yeah, Alfred, a little bit too late, buddy. But everybody's absent. Your emotion, your tears have no power. The Batman statue is useless. The orphanage is useless. Yeah, Martha and Thomas Wayne from Children, whatever. Like that name, Robin. Automatic pilot, Bruce Wayne already fixed it, so Bruce Wayne will fuck that woman for the end of his life. Robins find the bat cave, find the bats. Bruce Wayne is with Selena, yeah, whatever, makes no sense at all. 
The end. Oh my god, I fucking did it. Jesus fucking Christ. So, yeah, guys. Um, that was it. That was the fucking Dark Knight fucking rises. The Dark Knight doesn't rise. There is no Dark Knight in here. There is no Talia. There is no Bane. There is no... Well, at least the only semi-character is Bane. But he doesn't have much to do, or just he has a lot to say, but not to do, which is a problem because bat because again, like Batman, Bane is like Batman and Bane are both kind of philosophers, but they're 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 they work in the ether, in the ethos, in the they they they, they don't tear their lung, they don't cry their lungs out in public. They are very private, personal, deep, deep, insightful characters. They don't go and do speeches or, you know, make public appearances with great. I mean, and again, for this movie, I guess, because Bane is like a warlord, so he has to show his charisma to the people and. But it's not, it's all for naught. I mean, this trilogy has been a fucking waste. Um, again, Batman Mugins was the best. Uh, but, I mean, this is not a Batman movie. You can remove Batman from it, doesn't change much. Um, it's platitudes, it's dumb. It's what more can I say, guys? You know, after all these hours of review and ranting, I mean, if you don't know how I hate these movies by now, I just hope I'll finish on this because you've heard enough about me. Um, I just hope you put these movies in the trash. I hope they're not your definitive Batman. And I hope that the animated series and Batman Mask of the Phantasm and the Tim Burton movies wouldn't continue to endure. But I hope uh, Matry's um, Batman trilogy, and I hope it's more than a trilogy because why the fuck not? Uh, Matry's laid a great foundation for a new Batman and he made more with a low-tech first first year Batman than anything Christopher Nolan has achieved with a billion dollars so um, thanks for watching guys uh, keep keep your Batman uh, watching true and quality wise and special because each Batman should always remain special to us and always motivate us and inspire us. That's why he exists. Not to do these fucking stupidities. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys.